Hello everyone, my name is Micah and in this video I am going to pack up some stationery and journaling supplies because I'm going on a trip to Germany to see my family and friends. It's the first time in two years that I'm gonna be visiting, uh, so I'm very very excited. And I thought I'd bring you along and show you what I'm gonna take with me and we can, you know, uh, talk a little bit about journaling supplies and look at some. And so I thought it might be, might be fun um, to do that together. Yeah, so let's get this a little bit cleared away. I've just pulled a couple of things that I'm probably going to take um, with some of the stuff. I'm not sure yet. But uh, first of all, let's talk pouches because I love packing things in pouches. Uh, it makes it easy to categorize things and just pull things out and have everything in one place. Um, this one that I actually designed myself uh, with some cats from Cat Collage Club. Uh, I have the link to Cat Collage Club down below if you want to find out more about it. But yeah, this is a makeup bag actually. Um, it's lined with denim fabric and it even has two little pockets and I thought instead of using it for makeup I'm gonna use it for stationary supplies and because it's so big it actually fits my current journal which is a roughly a b6 size and that just slips right in so I thought that would be really cute cute way to keep it protected and also pack some pack some essentials so we're gonna do that in here and then let's see I also want to bring my uh, visual journal but I'm not sure yeah that's gonna be too thick but this is a hard cover so I'm not to worry about it that's just gonna slide right into my bag um, I also want to bring a couple ephemera pieces now I'm, because I'm just visiting my, well, just, <laughs> since I'm visiting my family and I'm gonna, you know, have access to magazines and I probably will want to buy some magazines, um, you know, I'm not too worried of running out of stuff to put in my journal, but it's still nice to have some on hand and just to have something to play with. And uh, recently I've started keeping all my um, printable ephemera in these little pouches that I got from Amazon. And I think these are so handy to have because it keeps everything uh, neat and organized and stuff just easily slips out. So when I'm journaling, I just dump everything on the table and then I just pick stuff out and put it back in. Um, so this is Cat Collage Club printables from uh, March. No, what is this now? We have it. February. Goodness gracious. So <laughs> these are the printables from February, which I'm going to take. Uh, these were from January, which I think I am also want handy. And then I here I have some just assorted uh, printables from, I think some of these are Amity Bloom. And then some of these are from Jenny May June. Uh, so just really cute tags and flower printables. Um, so these are always nice to have. Yeah, this is all Emily Bloom. Um, and then these are from Jen. These are just really pretty artworks. Um, soft feminine artwork. You know, they're always nice to put in the background if you need a pop of color. So yeah, I'm gonna take those. Um, also because my uh, I'm staying with my parents and they don't have a color printer. So it's just nice to have some color images. Uh, I might not end up using these, but it's still nice to have. And they're not that heavy. So we're going to take those. And then these are... Uh, this is um, March from Cat Collage Club. So this is a little sneak peek, but these I have ready to go. I want to have them with me. Um, ready to use once we hit March. So yeah, going to take these for just having something to play with. And my hope is... Yes! These fit in here. Or do they not? Oh, the... No, no, they do. It's just that the pockets were in the way. Awesome! 
That is awesome. Okay, I'm liking that. And then I also want to bring some washi tape. Um, these are my favorite washies that I always have on my desk ready to go. Here, I can show you a little close up. Um, this I love because it reminds me of Bauhaus. This is an empty washi tape. And then this, I think grid is always useful to have. Um, same as the polka dot. I live for this polka dot uh, washi tape. I put it everywhere because it goes with every color palette and it uh, just brings a nice graphic contrast uh, to the page. And then this fun empty washi tape with some like watercolor dots. And then this is actually a tape from the Dollar Tree. Um, and it has these colorful watercolor stripes. Really fun. So I'm definitely gonna take these and I could probably get away with just taking these, but um, we'll take a look at all my other washi tapes as well. So how about we just put those in these cute pockets. I don't know if you can even tell that there are pockets. Yeah, they're gonna go in the there. Nice. Uh, and here is my box with all my other washies. So these are, uh, I just rotate them out or just grab for them whenever I need them. They're not sitting on my desk all the time. Let's see here if I wanna bring anything else. Um, we have some thinner washies. Maybe that would be fun. Just to have some variety, some black and white. This is um, black washi with white polka dots. And then here we have some black and white stripes. And then we would, would be nice to have some thin ones like that. Yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, okay. I think I'm, I'm good with that. For now, okay. Now, going on to markers and pens and stuff. Again, I love a good zipper pouch. <laughs> um, this is actually another makeup bag that I found at the thrift store. And I thought the pattern is so beautiful and it's nice and big and it opens up really wide. And it's it has that sort of like weird plasticky material on the inside. Uh, so if I put markers in here and stuff and some stuff leaks out, it's going to be super protected. So I'm, I'm so happy that I found this and it makes for a great, uh, marker and pen bag. Um, I washed this too, so it's not like, it still smells a little bit like thrift store, but oh well. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Okay, because previously I have had all my markers in this... Dollar Tree zipper bag. Isn't that so cute with the rainbows? Um, love it. Um, and here I have all my uh, uh, Zig Clean color markers as well as my Ecoline brush pens. And I was thinking of not taking any watercolor with me because I actually still have some watercolor palettes at my parents' place. And so I'll be able to use that and um, bring it back to the States with me. Uh, but for the travel there, I thought it would be nice to just have some markers. And again, I probably wouldn't necessarily need to bring all, but some of these colors are also new, and so I'm I'm excited to play with them. So I think, what the hell, I'm just gonna bring all of them with me. Yeah, these are super fun, and all of these, both the Equaline as well as the uh, clean, uh, the Zig Clean color brush pens are water activated, or you can activate them with water, so similar to watercolor. So that's gonna be fun. And so look at this. Ooh, they all fit, and there's still room for so many more colors. So that's fun. And then, um, oh, well, there's more room, but also there's more markers. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, something fell out. 
Um, so yeah, but still, I mean, there's still plenty of room. So that's markers. And then I thought I would bring just a little zipper. This is actually my pen, just my normal pencil case these days. Um, I added a little cat charm. Uh, and this I'm probably also going to put in my um, carry-on luggage so that I have something to play with on the plane. Um, I kind of like having that option or during layover at the airport just sketching some people and do that kind of stuff. Because um, there's only so many TV shows and movies I can watch on a 24-hour trip. Well, it's basically more or less 24 hours with layovers at the airport and stuff like that, so... It takes a while. So this is uh, what's currently in there, um, which is not necessarily what I'm going to take. Uh, for one, I am definitely not going to bring the scissors because um, security is going to give me a hard time for that. Um, and then also I have here some of my colored pencils, um, which I wanted to at least bring some of these, even though I'm always concerned when traveling with colored pencils because they break so easily. But what I've been really into lately is uh, making lines for myself in like a color that goes with the spread. And I think it looks cute and it breaks up the, the page. And yeah, I don't know. I've just been really liking that. So I'm probably gonna bring at least one color, one colored pencil with me to be able to do that. Um, and again, I mean, I could buy another colored pencil, but also what you have on hand, you have on hand. And so it's not going to be the end of the world if I end up, you know, breaking one colored pencil in the whole process. So, um, I think this is a Namiki Falcon, uh, here I can show you, fountain pen that's specifically for drawing. It has a flexible nib. So when I put down pressure, it makes a thicker line and stuff. I love this pen. Um, and because I love it, because it's not the cheapest pen of all, I'm gonna leave that here, I think. Uh, and um, for line drawings and stuff like that, I'm just gonna opt for bringing my trusty Micron pens. Um, these are by Sakura. And they're waterproof, they dry super fast, and so that's that's gonna go in here. And then, what else? Well, I mean, a pencil is always good, right? And then I have a, a Lamy fountain pen that I've been using for um, trying and uh, drawing with it. It's okay. Um, I actually know these fountain pens from school, like that's what we used to used just for writing in school. However, this one, I don't know if it's this model or if that's just because I'm trying to draw with it rather than write with it. The ink sometimes just randomly stops coming out. Um, let me know if you've used a Lamy fountain pen for drawing before, if you've had a similar problem, because I, for the life of me, I can't figure out what's wrong. Um, anyway, so because of that, I, th I don't think I'm going to bring this with me. Um, I'm probably going to bring a water brush. I should probably dump out the water before. But, um, yeah. Water brush is good to have. And then these are always nice to have on hand. I actually also really like drawing with these. It's just a normal, um, big pen. So... That's gonna go with me. Oh, and then my Sarasa clip pens because I love drawing and writing with these. And I have a ton of different found colors. This was a set. I think they were called like something with vintage, sort of a vintage color palette. Oh, and there's the purple. So, yeah. A little bit of an indulgence to take them all, but life is short and I want to have some colorful pens. <laughs> Oh, and then this is really a uh, really fun color. This is a Polychromos in salmon color. And this is really fun. Um, if you if I draw faces, I often use that as a blush color. 
Um, so I think I'm gonna use that. That's sort of like a minimalistic look I can do just black and white line drawing and then just color in the cheeks and all of a sudden your characters look alive because they have rosy cheeks. <laughs> so that's that's a little tip for you. And I think I don't need any of these. Um, this is a Uniball Air that I was really excited to try um, because it's supposedly really smooth. The way they did the ballpoint is actually um, plastic, I think, instead of metal, which supposedly reduces friction. For some reason, it it's it feathers on all of the papers I've tried it on, and takes a really long time to dry. And so I've all the instances where I've tested it, uh, I smudged it. So I don't know. I wanted to love this pen, but I don't. Really weird. Okay, so putting all of these aside. And then in terms of colored pencils, these are all polychromos. Oh, this is a Prismacolor actually. But every everything else is polychromos. So let's take a red because I always use this for all kinds of things. This is Pompeian red. And then let's take um, black. And yellow, just for accent color, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna go on the plane with me. And then, hmm, well if I wanna draw in my journal, then I would have to take this whole thing on the plane with me. No, you know what, I'm just gonna take a small sketchbook on the plane with me with that and put the journal itself in my suitcase. You know what? I still have so much space in here. Um, but that's never a good reason to pack more things is if you still have space. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, like I said, I probably am gonna um, go looking for some German magazines. They are still, I think, Flow magazine is still available in Germany. I think they've stopped making the English version. So I'm really excited to buy myself a Flow magazine because they always have so many beautiful illustrations to cut out and use. And then I'm probably gonna go and look for some cute stickers while I'm over there. So um, it might not stay that empty. <laughs> so I'm good with that. Yeah, so then we have all the washi tape, journals and em ephemera printable ephemera and this cute cat pouch and then we have all of the uh, water soluble paint markers or brush markers in this uh, vintage makeup bag uh, and then these two are gonna go in the suitcase and then this pencil bag is just gonna come on the plane with me and then I'm gonna just grab a oh and then obviously not forgetting my visual journal, which if you want to know more about my current journals that I'm using, um, I'll have that video linked below. And then this zipper bag is now empty, which I could just use for something else, for toiletries or whatever. So this is gonna definitely come in handy. All right, well, I hope this was uh, of some interest to you. Um, I always love seeing what stationary items other people have and how they pack and how they think about what to bring with them on a trip. This is certainly not the lightest um, things ever, but um, I'm really happy. I think this is, this is gonna be fun to have. And yeah, I'll um, talk to you in a little bit. And until then, happy journaling.